Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. And today I want to talk about something. Now, I get a ton of emails and private messages and other forms of communication. People constantly asking me questions about digital pianos and everything. I can't possibly read them all, there's too many. But the one thing that I wanted to share with you is one of the most popular themes in these messages are the use of the term real piano. And let me, let me give you an example email or message or private message or otherwise that people send. Well, I'm ready to buy a digital piano. I have a budget of about $600 or what it, name the dollar figure. And I want something that's going to feel like and sound like a real piano. I want something that's going to feel as real as a real piano as possible or sound just like a real piano as possible. Or I get, you know, the other end where money is no object, but they want something that feels and sounds like a real piano. So the key word here is actually real piano. And I kind of get a kick out of that because what is a real piano? Now, if you think about it, a real piano is something that has 88 keys. And it has metal strings. It has graded action. It's heavier on the bottom as opposed to lighter key weights on the top. It has dampers. It has at least two foot pedals. That's the definition of a real piano. And whether the case is made of wood or metal or plastic is irrelevant. The bottom line is the 88 keys, the strings, the foot pedals, the dampers. That's basically the main parts of a real piano. Now, a real piano can be bought for $50 or $100 at a garage sale. Or you can go to a fine piano store and pay a few hundred thousand dollars for a real piano. The $50 or $100 piano versus the $200,000 piano by definition, they're both real pianos. So when you say real piano, what do you mean? Because you and I both know, just like pianos, you can go out and pay 50 or $100 for a car. You can also go out and pay $500,000 for a car. But what's the definition of a car? Something with four wheels, with something you can sit in, Typically, you can have at least one passenger. It's got an engine. It's got a horn. It has a manual or an automatic transmission. And four wheels, four tires. And you can drive it from point A to point B. And it runs on some form of gasoline or diesel. Again, $500, $50, $500,000 will all get you a real car. And the same thing with a piano. So when you say real piano, I'm not sure what you mean. Now, when I personally use the term real piano, I conjure up an image in my mind that is a concert grand because I am a performing pianist. I'm a professional pianist. And I compare everything to a concert grand. And I'm not even talking about a baby grand. I'm talking about a concert grand. So for me, real piano refers to that. Although real piano can refer to anything. It can be a $50 upright or console or spinet piano with vertical strings, which is a completely different action than a grand or baby grand or concert grand or stretch grand, which has horizontal strings. The action is two completely different things. The sounds are different because the strings are longer. If you have a concert grand, those strings can be around nine feet long. If you have an upright piano, the strings can be just a couple of feet long. And they're all going to sound different. So, this is what I wanted to get across. 
because a real piano, the definition is just what I said before, you know, 88 keys, strings, hammers, couple of pedals, that's it. Now, as far as the action on it, well, that's another story because the action on a $50 piano versus a $200,000 dollar piano is obviously a lot different the sounds are a lot different and then there's every kind of piano imaginable in between that 50 or 100 dollar piano or that 200 or 300 thousand dollar piano so if we're talking strictly concert grand i like the Kawhi mp11 i think the action on this rivals a lot of real pianos out there, including a lot of baby grands and some grand pianos out there. As far as the sounds, well, at home, I have a baby grand piano. It doesn't feel anything like this. It's completely different. I prefer the action on this to that. But it's also about a hundred, if not more, years old. So it's not going to sound as crisp and clear as a newer piano. And in fact, all of the digital pianos that are sampled, they're all going to sound crisp and clear. Whether you've just taken it home and you're trying out for the first day or you're playing it five years later, it's going to sound pretty much the same. Now, if you want something that's going to sound like it's aged, you want something that's more like physical modeling, and whether that's a Physis piano or the software equivalent, the uh, Piano Tech piano software, you can make that software, make it so that your piano sounds aged, which is cool. And you can't do that really with a sampled piano, or at least not yet anyway. So this is what I wanted to get across because when you say real piano, a $50 piano at a garage sale versus a $300,000 grand concert piano, they're both real pianos. The actions are different, the sounds are different, and like I said, all the pianos in between those two varying price ranges, whether they're uprights or, or concert grands or baby grands or stretch grands, it doesn't matter. They're all real pianos. So keep that in mind when you ask me about something that's going to come the closest to what a real piano feels like and what a real piano sounds like. There's really no standard definition of what a real piano feels like or what a real piano sounds like. And if you get one that feels the way you really like, well, the sound, that's another story. Once you buy a real piano, an acoustic piano, you can't change anything. The action, yeah, you can change that a little by having your piano technician come out and make some changes, and as far as the sounds, you're pretty much stuck with what it sounds like. Although your piano technician can modify that a little bit, okay? So anyway, that's what I wanted to get across. I didn't really want to spend this amount of time on this subject, but I can't stress enough that the term real piano in these emails and messages and private messages really don't mean anything except 88 keys, metal strings, a couple of foot pedals, graded hammer action, which every piano has. That's a real piano. Anyway, I hope that I've conveyed to you why real piano, <laughs> it really doesn't mean anything. The term is just so broad. So, Piano Man Chuck. Peace out. Thanks for watching.